the Northern Ireland Social Care Council was asked by the Department for Health to develop a continuous professional learning framework, career development pathway, and a qualification-based register for our social care workforce. To progress this work, the Social Care Council set up a social care reform project team, and the team have been working to develop a new care and practice framework for social care workers that takes account of the diversity and complexity in social care, one that values and recognises our social care workers. The care and practice framework is designed to enable social care practitioners to engage in career-long learning and development using their practice experience, knowledge and skills in working to support service users, increasingly those with complex needs across programmes of care within the health and social care system. It aims to enable social care practitioners to evidence that they are meeting their standards of conduct and practice. It places social care practitioners in charge of their own professional learning and development. It aims to provide confidence in practice, knowledge and expertise to the social care workforce. It supports social care practitioners to continue to reflect, learn and develop throughout their careers. It recognises all work-related learning and development, both formal qualifications and informal learning, and it aims to provide transferability and flexibility across the sector. On the left-hand side of the CIP framework slide is a continuous professional learning framework. And on the right-hand side is a qualification pathway. Mentoring and support is outlined at each level of the social care journey, a practitioner, enhanced and leadership and management levels. All social care practitioners should have access to mentoring and support, no matter where they are in their career. The framework has been developed to be agile and flexible to meet the learning and development needs of our social care workforce and support social care practitioners as a registered workforce to evidence that they are meeting their standards of conduct and practice. The continuous professional learning framework on the left hand side of the slide will allow you as a social care practitioner to develop your career maybe as an enhanced practitioner, for example, working with people with dementia or with a learning disability, or you may want to go into a management or leadership role. The right-hand side of the slide shows the qualification pathway. All new social care entrance level practitioners will be required to complete a safe and effective care practice certificate within the first six months of starting work. They will then progress to completing the level two diploma in health and social care. The CIP continuous learning and development part of the framework on the left hand side will allow social care practitioners to continue to undertake service specific learning and development. The flexibility and agility of the framework provides the opportunities to progress your career through developing your skills, knowledge and qualifications. The safe and effective care practice certificate and the level two diploma in health and social care is only applicable to social care practitioners coming into the social care sector after 2024. The care and practice framework has been designed to be agile and flexible to support continuous learning career development and to support social care practitioners to meet standards of conduct and practice. The aim of the framework is to support the development of a well-trained social care workforce which is thriving, resilient and continuously evolving to provide the best care and support to service users now and in the future.